final game of our series in Corpus Christi, and as we are every Sunday, joined by the manager of the Rough Riders, Steve Bouchel. Steve, last night, both teams' pitchers had it going, and offense was short to come by. Uh, a struggle offensively, but we've seen that here on the road more often than not. Yeah, you can say all three games have kind of been dominated by the pitch, and the pitching in this series so far has been great, and I expect nothing less today from both teams. They're throwing a couple more good pitchers, and we got Fairbend who's been throwing great. Uh, offense, you yeah, had struggles, and this is a ballpark where, you know, if the wind's blowing in the wrong direction and you can't pull the ball down the left field line, then you're going to have trouble scoring some runs. But, boy, it's been evident this series for sure. At least when we went down last night, we went down about as quick as you can go down and got out of here early. Yeah, I guess if you're going to lose, you might as well not take a whole <laughs> long time to do it. Uh, Carlos P. Mattel was terrific last night. It's a little bit overshadowed given what the other side did, but uh, Pimo has been pretty solid this year. We've seen the flashes from him in the past. He's a pitcher with great talent. Have you seen anything different in the way Carlos is throwing or maybe the mentality coming into this year, seeing as he's been kind of stuck at this level the last couple of seasons? I don't know. I think there's definitely the, his, he has the will and the want to get to the next level. I think he pitched pretty good for us last year as well. You know, expect nothing less out of him. He's, he's one guy that I kind of look at as going out there and he's going to cover some in, innings for us and do a good job. He, pit, he pitched outstanding last night. Pusaitis was great the night before, throwing seven, and 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 Neil was outstanding the, in the 17 inning game. I mean, you can't ask for for more than we've gotten out of our pitchers. But last night, you guys did not get a base runner on until the seventh inning when Hoying doubled. At what point are you thinking in the dugout, uh oh, this is uh, looking like it's going to go in a historically bad direction? <laughs> I don't know that I think. You know, I don't get to a point where I think that, but. You know, this is like the third time now I think someone's taken a no-hitter on us into the seventh or sixth inning, so we might be making a little bit too much of a habit out of it. You know, and, and they've all been on the road, and it's been against good pitchers. So, uh, And it's been against guys that have gotten ahead of our hitters. Last night, that kid, all of them were ahead of our hitters 0-1 the whole night long, so we probably need to do a little bit better job adjusting there. But... No, you know what? If, if it starts today, I'll probably start thinking about it in the first inning just, <laughs> just to jinx it. Have you ever been a part uh, of a team that has been no hit or perfect game in your playing or coaching career? I don't think so. I was thinking about that, and I've been thinking about it in those three games where we're getting no hit. I don't think I've ever been on the no hit side of it. I obviously played in the ones that Nolan pitched and been in a few of those, but I can't recall being on the on the bad end of it. Here with Rough Riders manager Steve Bouchelle, you mentioned the 17 inning game the other night. I mean, what a way to start the road trip and start the series. The perseverance by the team to be able to come through. Nicholas with the big home run. And everybody contributed, even Wilder Rodriguez. My goodness, uh, you got everything you could have asked when you put him into the game. Yeah, to open up a series after an off day and go 17 innings is going to put a little strain on your pitching. And G-Rod came in. And, and one thing about G is he, he enjoys it. He likes it. And, you know, he, he takes it serious, too, when he goes out on the mound. But... That was a huge win for us, obviously, after losing these last two. 17 inning games on the road are really hard to win, and, and to come through and win that game was was a huge start to the road trip. And you said that the pitching has really recovered. You really needed Pesetas and for Pimentel to give you good outings. Where do you stand now with the bullpen? Is it almost back to where you can use most guys? Yeah, Jeff mentioned in the game last night, he goes, we've gone to have a nobody to having a hard time getting somebody in the game. So I think uh, the starters have picked this up big time going seven, uh, the last two games, so I think the bullpen should be pretty decent shape. I want to ask you a little bit about Hanser Alberto, a player who has been seeing the ball pretty decently, just hasn't been getting the base hits. Well, those are starting to come over the last couple of ball games, and he's starting to get a few three-hit games here this past week, and is looking at least a little bit more comfortable from where he's hitting. Yeah, for a 19-year-old kid, too, I mean, I, I'm very pleased with how he's been going about his business. He's having fun playing. Right, we're we'll moving into the two hole today and see how he how he handles that. I think it's a spot that um, if other guys are struggling, maybe he can step in there. And I think the organization would like to see how he handles that situation too. But I'm very pleased with him. He he has a smile on his face. He's going out. He plays hard and and he's enjoying himself. We talked about this a little bit earlier in the week, but one thing that was surprising for me was just just to see where he was hitting at the start of the year, batting more or less in the ninth spot. And I think you explained it a little bit to take some of the pressure off of him. Yeah, I think so. I think these these young kids, you know, sometimes you can look back last year with Larry Garcia. The start of the season was up top of the order and struggled early. And 
he was we, we put him down just to see if it would take some pressure off of him and it seemed to work and by the end of the year or after a month or so you know he was right back up top but it takes time when you get to double a for your first time the pitching's very good here uh, especially in this league so uh, but hanser can handle it he's got a great attitude a great outlook on the game and uh, i think he'll be fine who is as always we appreciate the time best of luck out there this afternoon all right thanks alex that's steve bouchelle we're back after this on the frisco rough riders baseball network